ladies and gentlemen, this is Mendel the Lead Hound, back once again with another episode of the Pokemon Victory Fire Nuzlocke. In the previous episode, we made it to Redwood City, and uh, we did a few things, but I actually, when I was looking for a place to chain, train Fufu, um, I found this cave. I, I completely missed it because it's kind of hidden, but look, it's a cave. And I also found out, because I just walked right in this area, and found out it's called Mystery Cave, so maybe we can catch a Pokemon here. Oh, wouldn't that be cool? I hope so, let's see. Oh, we can! Okay, what, what can we get? Well, can't get that. Not get a Scraggy. Already had a Scraggy. Maybe something else? Oh, we could get a Zubat. I've already got a good bat, though. Well, whatever. Let's try and catch this thing anyway. Might as well. Alright, you know what, Zubat? You you really you're not gonna make me waste my Pokeballs, okay? Alright, you've got one chance. I'm gonna poison sting you. Actually I should have gone for no twin needle would have done more damage either way. Alright, I'm gonna poison sting you. And if this faints, okay, whatever. Apparently we're not getting a Zubat, never mind. Alright, well, uh let's let's just continue on then. Um well, actually, I, I'm, I'm going to have to cut, because I, I was in the middle of training. I just wanted to see if I could get a Pokemon, but whatever. I did actually notice I didn't fight this youngster. So, you know what? Let's uh, let's put Fufu out front and get some experience like that first. Almost, uh, you almost arrived in Redwood City. Why don't we have a match before we reach the city? Well, I've already been there, sorry. <laughs> been there and back already, youngster. Joey? With a Persian? What happened to your Rattata? Did you train it? Not cool. Up and you forgot the ways of the Rattata. All right, well, I'm not leaving Fufu -Fu in. Sayo will be fine, though. No? Let's uh, let's uh, let's twin needle. Yeah, twin needle. Oh wow, well, didn't do very much. Twin needle again. I'm gonna growl. Well, I'm gonna critical hit and then finish you with a single twin needle. So uh, you know, a single needle really. You waited out. Well, you're not at the Pokemon Center, so not really. Nothing serious, I can ask Nurse Joy for killing my Pokemon. She's a kind lady. Well, lucky you, I wish I could do that. Alrighty, folks, so... I've done some grinding, and I'm feeling pretty confident for taking on this gym, but before we do that, why don't we have a look around uh, Redwood City and see what we can see first of all. There's an old story of this city... In this city, okay, a evil Pokemon was blocked in a grave. It tried to ruin this city. Um, okay, that's kind of whatever. Interesting. The gym leader, Dez, is a very scary trainer. I can't describe why she's scary. I just know everybody who has seen her are all scared. Oh man, I don't like the sound of that. Everything in Redwood City is bright and energetic. Of, of course, oh. Except the gym leader. Oh man, everyone's making me nervous now. Come on. Right, Redwood City Church. Wow. Um, I've never seen a church in a Pokemon game. I wonder what's in here. Are there priests? Can I fight priests? Oh wow, this is an interesting music. What's up here? Wow, got some popping. It's hard to understand the origin of the universe, but I get calmed when I'm thinking of this question. Okay, I see a grave over there. I don't really want to talk to everyone. You're here to recover your spirit. Well, just make your mind clear. You cannot connect yourself with the universe. Okay, keep your heart clear and clean. It's necessary for you to understand the origin of your life. Um, I assume nobody's going to give me anything, are they? We should remember that we're a part of nature. We shouldn't lose our original hearts. Always be patient and calm. It's the only way to keep your soul with you. Okay, well, whatever. People aren't going to tell me anything, I guess. So, young one, you are also here to calm yourself? Well, the god created us and this world. It can accept all of us. Just be calm, and you may be able to find a way to make your mind clear. Wow. That's the weirdest religion I've ever... Just be calm, dude. That's the weirdest religion I've ever heard of. Just be calm. Are you talking about Arceus, or what? Like, what's going on here, man? It's an old grave. Some words are written on it. 500 years ago, a scary Pokemon appeared here. It, it was formed by dead spirits. It destroyed half of this city. When everybody was depressed about that, the god showed up and blocked that evil Pokemon inside of this grave. Ah, a strange purple face appeared. 
Oh! Okay, um, am I... What is it? A Spiritomb, okay. Um, can I catch this thing? I mean, I can catch this thing, right? I mean, this is, this is uh, Redwood City. It's a new area. Got some scary music going on with it, too. Uh, let's bring Sio in, because it's level 24, but, uh, you know, still can't be too careful. Still haven't gone over the team, because, uh, obviously I, I got Fufu up a few levels, and she's pretty good, and I will show you why later. Let's not worry about that now. But the only thing I could do is Twin Needle, which will be neutral against you, I believe. Um, Alright, well, let, let's throw a, a, a Great Ball. Let's just throw a Great Ball and see if we can do something. Man, I wish it was a... Uh, I don't know, I kind of wish it was a different Ghost-type Pokemon, but, you know, whatever. I can, I can use the Spirit Doom, I guess. Main attack, yeah. Um, Twin Needle will certainly kill you, won't it? So will Poison Sting. Uh, Pursuit is neutral. Let's see. Harry, uh, only as, as neutral and, uh, and moves that won't affect you. Except Giga Drain. Would a Giga Drain kill you? Probably. Alright, let's just Poison Sting and see if we can not make you faint. Oh, it's not very effective. Oh, of course. Oh, because Ghost type, right. Okay, well then let's, uh, let's see if we can get some poison going. And then we can catch you, Spiritomb. Are you really the scary Pokemon that almost destroyed the city? Because, I mean, you're a level 24 Spiritomb. And, I don't know, I just, I kind of find that hard to believe, honestly. Whatever, fresh water. Um, come on, get poisoned. Get poisoned. Eh, yeah, whatever. Um, more fresh water. Nah, I, I can probably catch you now. I'll just do a great ball. Come on, Spiritomb. Don't make this difficult for me. Dang it. Come on, great ball. It shook, it shook three times. Surely I can catch the Spiritomb, right? Yes! I got Spiritomb! How wonderful. It was formed by uniting 108 spirits. It has been bound to the odd keystone to keep it from doing any mischief. Okay, so I guess you're just you're uh, you're not unleashed, which is why you can't uh, do too much bad stuff anymore. Okay, sure, why not? We shall give you a nickname, and we shall call you Lady Ghost. What should we call this Lady Ghost? Um. Deavoke. Alright, Deavoke. Deavoke the Spiritomb. Um, okay. So, it, it, does nobody care that I just kind of unleashed the Spirit of Darkness again, or whatever? Make sure your emotion is pure. Okay. Hmm. You're also here to make your heart a piece. Okay, well, whatever. I guess no one cares. Uh, let's take a look at, quick look at uh, Deavoke. Okay, you got Pressure. Hey, you have Pursuit, Faint Attack, Hypnosis, and Dream Eater. Pretty good moves. Alright, I like that. It's pretty cool. Welcome to the team, Diavoke. Uh, we're going to do some training on you before we take on the gym, because you could be quite useful. Do you know Chikorita? Sister said that if I raise it well, it will evolve into a splendid Meganium. Yes, I do know that. But I'm too young to raise one, so could you please help me to raise it and evolve it? into? A oh! You want to give me a Chikorita? Well, I did catch a spirit tomb, but by the same token, this is a static encounter, and I tend to accept those, so yes, I will take your Chikorita! Thank you! Yay! Got a sick agent starter! Um, is someone eventually going to give me a Bulbasaur or something? I mean, if, if this pattern holds up, then I could very well get that. Okay, cool! Uh, Chikorita, once again, don't let me name it, but whatever, it's fine, I guess it is some other guys, but still. Overgrow. Ups grass type moves in a pinch. Tackle and growl. Okay, you're starting right at the bottom. We're gonna have to get some levels on Chikorita. That's fine. It's cool. I'm the daycare man. I can help take care of precious Pokemon if you'd like me to raise one. Oh, okay. You're the daycare dude. I'm ten years old now, so I'm going to be a trainer soon. Maybe my mother will give me a Pokemon today. Well, don't give any of the Pokemon that you're supposed to be raising. Can I go out there? Yeah, that would be cool. Um, 
My son is old enough to be a trainer. Now I'm preparing his package and planning to catch a Pokemon for him. Um, okay. So you're not going to offer to raise one of my Pokemon? Didn't the old man say? Uh, if you'd like to raise your Pokemon, I have a word with my wife. Oh, wait, is this the daycare? Is this the daycare place? Oh, the name raider's house. Oh, well, too bad this wasn't in, uh... Too bad this wasn't in that yellow, Yellowstone city or whatever it was. That might would have been good, but still. Hi, hi, I'm the Name Raider. I'm the fortune teller of names. I shall be pleased to read your Pokemon's nickname. Okay, well, how about you look at the nickname of this Chikorita? Hmm, Chikorita, is it? It's quite a fine name you bestowed, but what say you if I were to suggest a slightly better name? Yes, uh, good. Then what shall the new nickname be? Okay, what shall we name Chikorita? Um... Chikorita. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to call you Carlos. Carlos. There we go. Carlos the Chikorita. From now on, this Pokemon shall be known as Carlos. This is a better name than before. How fortunate for you. Great! We nicknamed our Chikorita. How wonderful. Daycare house. Okay, here's the daycare house. Jeez, I was looking for this. Okay. So, in fact, you... Uh, we can raise a Pokemon for you. Well, I don't really want to raise any of my Pokemon right now. Well, maybe I should drop off my Chikorita, actually. Yeah, sure. How, how, how about you raise Carlos? Because Carlos is level 5, and you know what? Um, while I'm running around and doing other stuff, Carlos can can be... Oh, no, I don't want to raise anyone else, though. Deovoke I can train on, on, on her own. That's fine. What the heck? What's a ninja boy doing in here? I'm a ninja boy, so I have some special training. Hehe, <laughs> you can have this. Uh, thanks for the premier ball, man. Whatever. <laughs> I don't want to hide myself now, so... Okay, whatever. <laughs> I think there's a boy around here, but I just can't... Uh, poor old man. He's probably blind. Can't blame him too much. He's running into the wall. I am a no-legible Pokemon trainer. So I know many things about Pokemon. For example, do you know how many regions are in this world? Let me tell you. There are more than 20 regions in this world. There are Kanto, Johto, Orange Islands, Havano, Gigonto, Poblano, and Antonio Banderas. I've swung them all, sister. Swung with the best. Jeez. Ishizu? Oh, Ishizu explains it all. Um, anyway, there are so many regions, but I just don't know them all. Hang on, wait, let me see what you said again. Because I was doing a final little John Trump thing. Orange Islands. On... Whatever. You've got a lot of names there, whatever you're trying to say to me. My poor sister, she did too much studying. She's a bit crazy now because of her hard work. When somebody tries to talk with her, she just says, How many regions are in this world? So I think she needs to be sent to the hospital. <laughs> I don't disagree with your diagnosis necessarily. Alright, well. I think that that's it for uh, for Redwood City. I, I couldn't find any other any other things. Got ourselves two Pokemon here, and other than that, we are well. We were ready to take on the gym, but honestly, now that I have Deovoke, I kind of want to train up Deovoke a bit more, just in case uh, she needs to see some fighting. So we're gonna do that. Then directly after that, we will go ahead, stop fooling around, and take on the Redwood Gym. Alright, I am back. I, I did a little bit of training on Diavoke up to level 30, but you know what? I think I'm ready to take on the gym. I, I didn't really feel like getting another Pokemon up to level 40, so you know what? We're just going to go ahead and take on this gym, because I'm pretty sure I am ready with the current team I have. So I'll show off everybody. Here we've got Fufu, Little Bunny Fufu, with Quick Attack, Jump Kick, which, uh, that's going to be the move I'm relying on for, uh, for, for Fufu, and Endure and Pound, so hopefully she'll be able to help us out. Sayo, who I am probably going to be relying on in this gym with the Twin Needle Attack, powerful Twin Needle Attack, also Poison Sting Pursuit and Cut. And we have Harry, who I really don't want to use in this gym. 
because uh, he has Psychic, which uh, can't... Assume, I'm going to assume can't affect anything in this gym. Amnesia, which uh, might, if, if Harry does end up coming back, I might have a chance if I can get an Amnesia off before they hit me. Giga Drain and Air Cutter, but uh, honestly, I don't want to use Harry. That I'm in a bad spot if I have to send Harry out. And finally, we have Deavoke, who didn't actually learn any new moves, but is still cool and just along for the ride for the time being. So, let's go ahead. Um, I'm, I'm actually going to... Should I keep Fufu out of front? Yeah, I think I'll keep Fufu out front. Uh, in fact, actually, oh yeah, I meant to do this uh, before I started recording, but I wanted to give some berries to increase Fufu's friendship. Fufu's friendship, so funny. Uh, so I'm just, you know what? Oh, give, no, not give. Use, because that's what you have to do. I use the berry on you. Uh, I'm, I, I'm not sure how many uh, I'd need for Fufu to uh, evolve, actually. So I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, and uh, just give give her a bunch of these berries, and hopefully she'll evolve next level. So I'll keep Fufu out front for the time being. Uh, there, hopefully that's enough. And I'll maybe... Oh, whoa, what the heck? That freaked me out. I did not expect that. <laughs> huh, kid, what do you want? Don't be in my way. Are you the gym leader? I have something important to do. And you're Mendel? Oh, well, I got it. Uh, I think I know something about you. But are you here to challenge Dez? You really think you have a chance to defeat her? Well, please battle me, and let me see if you're powerful enough to challenge the gym. Who are you? Who are you? You haven't even introduced yourself, and you're just like, uh, kid. Okay, yeah, Pokemon Trainer. Are you, Dez? I, I, no, you've got an Arcanine? I've got no idea what's going on right now. Okay, do you have Intimidate? Do you have Intimidate? That's a little bit annoying. <laughs> what are you gonna do? It's an Arcanine. Um, it might know Reversal, but if it knows Reversal, it probably won't do damage. Should I just endure? Uh, let's jump kick, because I doubt this thing's actually going to do anything to hurt me. Bite, yeah, okay. Um, uh, let's, let's jump kick again. Bite again, dang. Uh, quick attack. Did that do more? No, not really. Oh yeah, you have berry juice too, so I can uh, afford to get another attack in. But now I can't, so where's my soda pop? Well, this is a wonderful start, just getting ambushed outside the gym. Whatever, it's fine. I right, don't have extreme, extreme speed. That would make me very sad if you did. Nice experience, though. A Blaziken! Well, that is unfortunate, because that means I'm gonna have to switch out. I have lower attack anyway. But, if it is a Blaziken, actually, this is a perfect opportunity to use Harry. So, let's do that. Go, Harry! Using a... Okay, you weren't gonna use a fighting type move anyway. Whatever. Psychic! Psychic attack, Harry. Nice! Oh, Harry! <laughs> King Harry is awesome. Alright, and finally, you have a Zatu. Which, once again, yeah, another flying psychic type. Um, won't really be able to hurt me, and I can air cutter it. And I doubt this will one shot, but oh, oh, almost. Do you have sturdy? No, you don't. But oh man, it almost one shot it again. Uh, uh, let's go ahead and just psychic you, just to finish you off. Okay, who are you, lady? Are you in fact Des? Are you the gym leader? Well done, kid. Who are you? You've grown more powerful than I thought. Great. I'll leave. Just try to defeat. Who are you? Oh, that, that trainer, she's really strange. Who's, who is she? What is she doing here? Fine, forget her. Let's start challenging her. Yeah, that's what I have to say, too. Whatever. Oh, boy. Um, actually, before I go into the gym, I'm just gonna go ahead and run to the Pokemon Center. <laughs> Jessica, leave me alone. Goodness. Yes, 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 I know, I know. It didn't count. It's funny. I didn't even get a step from the gym. How's it going, champion? Down mental? Yeah, you, uh, you don't have. To, uh, you maybe don't know. I have to tell you that the gym leader here is a self-centered girl, so be cautious. Self-centered. Yeah, everyone around town was like, "Oh, look out for the gym leader. The gym leader is the gym leader and stuff." It's cool, like fire effect. I like this. Oh, but um, apparently the fire is uh, underneath me, which is not so cool. Whatever. 
Let's go, dude. Good white guy guitarist. Listen, man, this is the sound of darkness. You're an emo guitarist. But you're also a hippie, apparently. Kirk, whatever. A Larvitar! Oh, I've got some bad news for you, Larvitar. Jump kick! Oh, I missed. Really? Really? Wow. That is a bad side of things to come. But to be honest, if I did miss that jump kick, then statistically I shouldn't miss a single other jump kick in this whole gym. So you know what? I'm going to take that as a sign as things are good. That's what I'm going to say. Jump kick. Don't have sand veil. If you had sand veil, that would be very sad. Because I'd miss again, hurt myself, and then you'd probably get a crit, and I would just be so sad. So very sad about having a sneasel. Once again, okay, uh, quad effective jump kick is coming your way. And it's wonderful. Massive damage! How noisy. You're trying to break down my performance, right? Haha. <laughs> Maybe Dez is not good at playing guitar, but you'll be shocked by the real sound of darkness. Okay, whatever. I have no idea. Everyone's, like, been hyping up this gym leader, so I've got no idea what she's doing. Oh, my rare candies. I'm, I'm gonna use my rare candies right before I face her. Probably. Fresh water first. That's what I was looking for. Okay. What do you want, lady? I thought that the ghost-type Pokémon are the most mysterious, but I now realize that the dark-type Pokémon are also mysterious. So do you have ghost-type? Do you have, also have a spirit tomb just like me? A Houndour! Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, jump kick. <laughs> nice critical hit, Fufu. And is that a level up? Not quite. Maybe this one will be a level up. A Seviper. But that is a poison type, which doesn't help me much. Let's quick attack this thing. Glare. Ugh, whatever. Quick attack again. Quick attack. Ah, uh, paralyzed. Well, you can't poison me, so whatever. That was stupid. Wow, I don't know why I did that, but whatever, it worked out. Level 42, wonderful. Dizzy Punch. Uh, does that have low accuracy? I don't remember. It does not! That's actually really good. Let's get rid of Pound. Definitely want that, that stab, too. That's a really nice move. And Fufu learned Dizzy Punch. <coughs> actually, one thing I did realize I forgot. You look very interesting for a Hex Maniac. You look very together. Usually the Hex Maniacs look insane, but you look good. That's all I'm saying. Our Hex Maniac is always lonely. Aww. Uh, well, before I go on, actually, one thing I did realize is I meant to stock up on status restoring items, and I forgot to. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, I'm not going to head back to the Pokemon Center because whatever. But what I will do is I will buy a couple of antidotes because I might run into poison, but apparently I did have antidotes. So Paralyze Heals, just in case. And you don't have an Awakening or Burn Heal. Dang. Oh well. Nothing I can do about that. Whatever. Let us move right along back to the gym. Oh, and uh, before we forget, let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon too. It's right at the bottom now, because we just got them. So that makes sense. Well, actually it doesn't make sense that they're at the bottom of the bag. If I just got them, they should be at the top. Um, oh, there's also a vending machine here, so why don't I get some, uh, soda pops? Oh, yeah, and fresh water, too. That's right. Ah, uh, yeah, so this is what I... This is, I usually do this when I'm not recording, as I just hold down the speed up button and just buy a whole bunch of stuff. But, uh, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do it right here, because apparently I forgot to get some healing items like I should have. Clearly, I should have gotten some healing items. Um... Uh, Try and get some soda pops. Ah, I have, enough, I have enough fresh waters. I want soda pops. Oh, why can't you just put in a quantity like in the, the store? I'm just. Ugh. Come on, stop! Oh, I don't. I don't want fresh waters. Give me the soda pops. Oh man. This. Uh, come on. It's going too fast. All right, lemonade. We'll get uh, just a few lemonades, just in case. Soda pop? <laughs> Whatever. Fresh water is uh, 
technically better value anyways, but whatever. That's enough. Enough, enough. Please, can we just continue on in the gym? Please. <sighs> whatever. It's nothing. Iger. Let's make everything under darkness. Oh, you're a depressed Iger. Uh, everybody is an emo in this gym. Oh, you're a Rune Maniac. Never mind, you're a depressed Rune Maniac. And you also have a Barbatar, so... Guess when you're getting a jump kick to the face. Oh, yes? Oh, might I, you know, okay, that's fine. Oh, but you do have Intimidate, which is less fine. Okay. Uh, let's go with a Dizzy Punch, why not? Finish it off with that uh, high accuracy move. Oh, normal accuracy, whatever. You saw, you saw a shiny saw. Uh, I feel hurt. You damaged my training of darkness. Uh, darkness! Um, did Fufu even take any damage? It didn't. No, you didn't. But you are not, you are also not evolving, which kind of makes me sad. I really want you to evolve, so let's go ahead and use the last of our friendship berries on you. Um, yes. Yes, come on. I'd really like you to evolve, Fufu. Awesome. And I think that that's that. Oh, I actually have citrus berries. I need to remember that when I get to the gym later, because citrus berries are actually better than berry juices. So I want to make sure to switch those out. I forgot I had those. I guess I just didn't pay attention. You weren't going to fight me, even. Let's battle in judgment style. Ah, oh, you're not darkness. I like you. I like you, man. You're the only non depressed person here. Dang it, I'm still coughing. For all this time. Whirlipede! Or, wait, is Whirlipede dark? I don't know, but let's Dizzy Punch. Although you can't have Poison Point. That would be annoying if you poisoned me. It's fine, though. It didn't happen. My Diana. Uh, we'll de intimidate. Jump Kick. And, once again, let's go for another Dizzy Punch. Nice, Fufu. Really? Doing it. How elegant! Oh, what are you even doing in this gym, good sir? Please go ahead, young gentleman. What are you doing in this gym? You really do not fit at all. Okay. So she has a uh, Zoroark. So I'm gonna have to probably be careful because she's probably trying to fool me out with that. Probably gonna send Sayo in first. But before we do that, let's fight this guy. There's no traps in this gym. That's just because Dez is powerful enough that she doesn't need to be protected by traps. Yeah, you know, I appreciate it. Just a gauntlet of trainers. I can, I can respect that, man. And you've got an Absol. Dang it. Okay, just jump kick this thing. Okay, no, no, no. We're not dealing with this. We're not dealing with your super luck Absols, okay? We don't need any of that. It's no fun to lose. So if I had to guess, my prediction for her... Zordar, is that she has a ghost type. And what she's going to do is she's going to send the, the ghost type in first. I mean, she's going to send... Wait, no, that wouldn't make sense if she sends in Zoroark first, because Zoroark would turn into the ghost type. Well, whatever, either way. Um, let's go ahead and give some citrus berries out to everyone. Because what I'm actually going to do is I am actually going to be putting Silo in front, because I just want Sayo to sweeper. So let's see if we can get that going. Sayo, you're up. Let's take care of this lady. Is there anything over here? It does not look like it, except a pillar that uh, isn't on the proper layer. Alright. Uh, let's fight. I believe I am ready. <laughs> I am Dez, the master of darkness. Do you know my teacher, Wind? Yes, I met him. He's really a stubborn and foolish guy. He decided to be an evil leader. So you have wait, but your darkness and stuff. Is that guy still alive? Don't talk about him anymore. So you're here for a battle, right? Here I may wait to remember you're trying to do something impossible. And there's a jiggling thing on the side. Oh, it's supposed to be the arrow, okay. Foo foo foo, prepare to be my toy. Whatever. I don't care, dude. Couldn't care one leg. Leader Dez. Oh, you've got four Pokemon, I see. Well, I have Sayo, okay? And you intimidate me, really? That's how you're gonna play this? 
Well, if that's how you're going to play this, then I am going to switch out. I kind of want to switch out because Sai was intimidated. See how much damage your twin heal does. It should still do, you know, a fair amount of damage. Yeah, but it doesn't do as much as I want it to. You have Aerial Ace, too? Okay, you know what? I'm switching out. I'm switching out. I don't care. Foo foo. Come on. Oh, you used your Super Potion already. That was uh, a little premature there, buddy. I want to calm down. Where's, uh, where's my Super Pops? Because I am going to be switching back. Now that my attack will be normalized, there's the soda pops. But Fufu can uh, kick you in the meantime. Oh, you're gonna swagger me? Eh, well, in that case, maybe I don't want to. Oh, whatever. I've got my attack raised. Oh, you got crunch! Uh oh, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Okay, eat the citrus berry. Soda pop. Okay. I really want Fufu to stay in, though, because Fufu has increased attack now. Crunch. Dang. Soda Pop. Okay. Can you just keep doing this, huh? Well, then, I can't attack you, unfortunately, if, until you stop doing that. Where, where's my, uh... Where, where, wait, where the heck? Where's my water? There it is. I was going to say I should have tons, but whatever. Alright, well... If you would please just stop crunching me, then uh, that would be pretty cool, and then we could get on with this battle, you know. Also, it's a level 34 Might Aina, and you lowered my special defense. Dang it! You know what? I should probably switch out now. Yeah, if you lowered my special defense, let's go ahead and just switch out into Saya. Let's ah! No! Are you kidding me with this? This is a level 34 Might Aina, and it's already giving me hard time. I didn't use my rare candies. Dang it! Oh, man. This isn't cool, man. And now you're gonna swagger Sayo. Twin Needle would kill, but at the same time, if I attack you, Sayo can easily just faint, so I don't really want to do that. And I can't really switch into Fufu. Definitely can't switch into Harry. And Evoke isn't much of an option either. Maybe I could switch into Diavoke if I could get Hypnosis. That would be good. Um, this is quite the conundrum. Okay, you have Aerial Ace. Which you could easily use on Silence. Alright, let's see if we can put you to sleep. Uh, hit the B button. Okay, come on, Diavoke. You can take a crunch, probably. Hypnosis? Okay, come on, Diavoke. Get, get the, get the... Come on, come on, come on. There we go! Okay, there's the Hypnosis. And we shall go back into Sayo, and hopefully we will actually take care of this Might Aina. Twin Needle! Do your proper Twin Needles. There we go! That's the Twin Needle I was looking for. And the crit! Now we can move on. Thank you. Looks like I made the right choice. Okay, where are you sitting? Houndoom, which is quite unfortunate. Um, I hope that this is Zoroark. <laughs> I would really like this to be Zoroark. Uh, let's Twin Needle, though. Oh, you're gonna howl. I don't think that'll help you, though. Twin Needle again. Flamethrower? Oh, man, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. No! You got a crit! <laughs> oh, screw you, Houndoom, and your That's really, really bad. Do I send in Diavoke and try to sleep again? Oh man, I thought I was prepared for this gem. Okay, Diavoke or Fufu, Diavoke or Fufu. I definitely cannot send in Harry. If I send in Fufu, I need to heal that turn. And I know he's got Flamethrower, which is not good at all. But I can also probably one-shot it with a Jump Kick if I can get that off. On the other hand, Diavoke could put it to sleep, but I don't know if Diavoke can take a Flamethrower from this thing, so I'm going to go with Fufu. Uh, but I have to heal this turn. 
unfortunately, that means I just talk like Yoda for some reason. A okay, flamethrower. No, 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 no. This is the worst. Okay. <sighs> Harry, can you can you take this guy out? I mean, ah, oh, dang it! But I need to. Oh, but Harry can't take on any of the other Pokemon. Okay, Harry. Okay, can you take a flamethrower? Let's see. You should be able to, Harry, right? You can take a flamethrower? No, you cannot! I have made a huge mistake. An unbelievably huge mistake. Alright, what am I gonna do now? Oh man, seriously, I need to weigh my options. I'm gonna have to send Diavok in here. <laughs> gonna have to do that, don't really have a choice. And hopefully I can just put this thing to sleep. Oh man, it's my only choice, please. Please don't kill me. Oh boy! Um, please go for swagger or something. Dang! This is the worst! Oh, the worst thing that could have happened. Man. Ooh. Okay, so Fufu can't take a flamethrower. Harry can't take a flamethrower. Neither of them can. So what I need to do is I need to send Fufu in and hopefully just hit this thing with a high jump kick. Or, I mean, just a jump kick. Whatever. It's my only choice, so let's jump kick. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Houndoom is down. Okay. Fufu gets experience at level 43. Yay. Wonderful. Uh, and Harry gets experience. Okay. Uh, okay, Scrafty. This is very bad. Oh, please let this be your Zoroark. I really hope this is your Zoroark, but I have a feeling you're saving it for last. Okay, uh, no, no, no. What I will do is Lemonade, actually. Take that nice and juicy Lemonade. Okay, Crunch. Don't do very much, don't do very much. Okay. That was less than half health, so... I'm gonna heal up this turn. Oh, but, but that can lower my special defense. You know what? I'm gonna go for the jump kick, because I need to attack. If I want to win, I need to attack, so let's jump kick. Maybe one-shot you. Not quite. Oh, man! No! You're gonna use a fighting move now! Come on, Scrafty! That's not cool, man. Oh man, this is the worst. Harry, I believe in you. Okay. Okay. We can still do this. Okay, here's the plan. Lemonade. Okay, are you gonna go for Crunch? Surely you are. Okay, Crunch. Oh, dang. If it didn't do so much damage, I would have a chance, but... Unfortunately, I do not have a chance anymore. I can't amnesia. I can't do anything. Lemonade. Is this it? Come on. Oh, come on, Scrafty. Go for Brick Break. Please go for Brick Break. Please. Oh, thank you! Oh, thank you, Scrafty. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Um... So I can soda pop, that means up back up to full health. No, stop it! Why are you going for crunch? Oh! Why did that do so much damage that time? Okay, lemonade, come on, brick break. Thank you! Please keep going for brick break. If I could just get some amnesias, I might stand a chance. Come on. Crunch once again. Left. Okay, Aerial Ace. That's different. Uh, soda Pop. Soda Pop. Okay, Crunch. Once again. <sighs> if I could just survive this. Come on. I, I'm so close to surviving. 
Crunch only has like 10 PP, so surely you're low on your PP with that, right? Dang, stop crunching! Stop crunching, stop it, stop it, stop. Yes, Brick Break, please be out of it, please, please. I have, I have a chance, but only if you don't crunch me anymore. Stop! Stop it! Why are you tormenting me like this? You're just taunting me. What is this Scrafty doing? I don't understand. Come on, okay, Soda Pop. There's Crunch once again. Okay, why is it doing this? I legitimately do not understand the AI of this game. Soda Pop. Aerial Ace. Soda Pop. And so the cycle continues. Oh no, this is it. This is it, I can't take this. Oh, I barely take it. Come on. Wait, hang on. Didn't I have a Pokemon with No, I didn't. No, I never mind. I thought I had a Pokemon with Crunch so I could look, look at how much PP there was, but it doesn't matter either. This is it. This is the last hit. Oh, Harry. No. Oh, man. Well, <sighs> it looks like that is the end of Victory Fire for me. That's that's really sad. Man, the gym fights were insane in this game. I didn't even get the last one, but well, that was a level 34 of Might Iena. It was beating me the heck up. Also, that crit flamethrower didn't help matters whatsoever. I honestly, I feel like if I could have gotten past that Houndoom, I probably would have stood a good chance, because that, that's Scrafty. I mean, it's Scrafty, it's good, but it wouldn't have hurt my Beedrill very much. But, um, either way, I guess this is the end for me. So, sadly, there's not much else to say. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the Victory Fire Nuzlocke. Um, new Nuzlocke will be happening soon. That is all from me. Thank you for watching. Wow. I d actually didn't get to release a, a bunch of my Pokemon now that I'm just back on my PC looking at it. Um, and Ekans, my secondary starter. So cool. Bye bye. Foo foo. Took me through the gym quite a bit. Paul never really got a chance to prove himself, but he was cool anyway. Scrappy was pretty awesome, even though I'm not a huge fan of Scraggies. Grine, who had a very sudden and unfortunate death. Harry, who was awesome, great, swoop at, so cool. Devo, who also didn't get to prove herself, she put that Hound uh, her that 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 might I to sleep though, that was pretty cool. And Sayo, of course. The main man, the awesome bee drill. So well, my, my, my friend Lady really. She really got me through a lot. And she, that's it. Uh, well, of course. See she's gonna come back because I've only got two Pokemon now. Well, just you and me, Carlos. It's you and me against the world.